Good morning, everybody. Kurt Risch here, and thank you for joining me on One Shepherd. So today we are continuing with our reading of the Old Testament book of Judges, chapter 8. Now the men of Ephraim said to him, Why have you done this to us by not calling us when you went to fight with the Midianites? And they reprimanded him sharply. So he said to them, What have I done now in comparison with you? Is not the gleaning of the grapes of Ephraim better than the vintage of Abizar? God has delivered into your hands the princes of Midian, Oreb, and Zeb. And what was I able to do in comparison with you? Then their anger toward him subsided when he said that. When Gideon came to the Jordan, he and the three hundred men who were with him crossed over, exhausted but still in pursuit. Then he said to the men of Succoth, Please give loaves of bread to the people who follow me, for they are exhausted, and I am pursuing Zeba and Zalmunna, kings of Midian. And the leaders of Succoth said, Are the hands of Zeba and Zalmunna now in your hand, that we should give bread to your army? So Gideon said, For this cause, when the Lord has delivered Zeba and Zalmunna into my hand, then I will tear your flesh with the thorns of the wilderness and with briars. Then he went up from there to Penuel and spoke to them in the same way. And the men of Penuel answered him as the men of Succoth had answered. So he spoke to the men of Penuel, saying, When I come back in peace, I will tear down this tower. Now Zeba and Zalmunna were at Karkor, and their armies with them, about 15,000, all who were left of all the army of the people of the east, for 120,000 men who drew the sword had fallen. Then Gideon went up by the road of those who dwell in tents on the east of Noba and Jagabaha, and he attacked the army while the camp felt secure. When Zeba and Zalmunna fled, he pursued them, and he took the two kings of Midian, Zeba and Zalmunna, and routed the whole army. Then Gideon, the son of Joash, returned from battle, from ascent of Herez, and he caught a young man of the men of Succoth and interrogated him. And he wrote down for him the leaders of Succoth and its elders, seventy-seven men. Then he came to the men of Succoth and said, Here are Zeba and Zalmunna, about whom you ridiculed me, saying, Are the hands of Zeba and Zalmunna now in your hand, that we should give bread to your weary men? And he took the elders of the city, and thorns of the wilderness, and briars, and with them he taught the men of Succoth. He tore down the tower of Penuel, and killed the men of the city. And he said to Zeba and Zalmunna, What kind of men were they whom you killed at Tabor? So they answered, As you are, so were they. Each one resembled the son of a king. Then he said, They were my brothers, the sons of my mother. As the Lord lives, if you had left them live, I would not kill you. And he said to Jether, his firstborn, Rise, kill them. But the youth would not draw his sword, for he was afraid because he was still a youth. So Ziba and Zalmunna said, Rise yourself and kill us, for as a man is, so is his strength. So Gideon arose and killed Ziba and Zalmunna, and took the crescent ornaments that were on their camels' necks. Then the men of Israel said to Gideon, Rule over us, both you and your son, and your grandson also, for you have delivered us from the hand of Midian. But Gideon said to them, I will not rule over you, nor shall my son rule over you. The Lord shall rule over you. Then Gideon said to them, I would like to make a request of you, that each of you would give me the earrings from his plunder, for they had golden earrings because they were Ishmaelites. So they answered, We will gladly give them. And they spread out a garment, and each man threw into the earrings from his plunder. Now the weight of the gold earrings that he had requested was 1,700 shekels of gold, besides the crescent ornaments, pendants, and purple robes, which were on the kings of Midian, and besides the chains that were around their camels' necks. Then Gideon made it into an ephod and set it up in his city, Afra, and all Israel played the harlot with it there. It became a snare to Gideon and to his house. Thus Midian was subdued before the children of Israel, so that they lifted their heads no more, and the country was quiet for forty years in the days of Gideon. Then Jeroboam, son of Joash, went and dwelt in his own house. 
Gideon had 70 sons who were his own offspring, for he had many wives. And his concubine, who was in Shechem, also bore him a son, whose name he called Abimelech. Now Gideon, the son of Joash, died at a good old age and was buried in the tomb of Joash, his father, in Ophrah of the Abizrites. So it was, as soon as Gideon was dead, that the children of Israel again played the harlot with the Baals and made Baal Bareth their god. Thus the children of Israel did not remember the Lord their God, who had delivered them from the hands of all their enemies on every side, nor did they show kindness to the house of Jeroboam. Gideon in accordance with the good he had done for Israel. Guys, that's it for our Old Testament reading of Judges chapter 9. Thank you so much for joining us. May you have a great day and God bless.